<laughs> he said he's riding this guy up out here on the lake because he didn't have, he had a bass boat with no bass in it. <laughs> that is so awesome. Man, I'm excited. You did a heck of a good job. It's perfect, man. This is absolutely perfect. All right, we got the fuel tank out of the way. Steven's got nothing in his starter. And uh, we're going to see if that solves the problem. I'm taking off the uh, bracket for the starter. So I never adjust it to straighten it out. Welded nuts. Well, that's the way we designed this. The reason that we welded these nuts, so the nuts will stay together. But as long as you unthread this, like you double nut it like that, these will back out of the block. Right, so these stay together, but this is spinning out of the blocks. So Not the hardest hitting bad boy, is it? No, we uh, got an adjuster on this. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Einstein. We need to weld this side. Oh yeah, maybe that's what his problem is. With that broken before we took it off. Yeah, I guess we're fit. There's one weld we didn't. Didn't quite see. Oh yeah. We had it on the engine while we were doing it. Yeah. I blame Richard. I didn't weld that up. I don't remember who made that. I didn't. How long are you think before the boat's done? I was like, it's always two and a half years. The last six years we've been saying two years. Now we say a year and a half. Little love. We're all focused on one job right now, and uh, the problem when you have like so many like type A personality people that like want to get jobs done, you end up with this kind of scenario. Imagine what it's like for Mike who runs a team of twelve acrobatic <laughs> pilots. No, you gotta hold Most this. Some former military. There you go. That's perfect. Like that. Yeah. yeah let me help you with this part though. <laughs> Just spread it out so I don't get an. This. Yeah, there you go. Just spread that. That'll okay, so I'm the spreader. Ah, yeah, now that's perfect. Okay. So if you rock it sideways, then we're on, on the money. <laughs> you got to rock it. That's the trick to these yeah. calipers too, guys, in case you ever wanted to know. Number one tip. But it's a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing having that many people that just want to be involved in something. I mean, that's how something like that gets made. So I kind of want to watch you get a little filming done, and then I'm sure I'll find a, another job to do. We were welding stainless the other day. Yeah. Here it comes. So I made sure that I, I went flat on one side, so that's a good 90. I'm going to come over. Just gonna wait, make a little, little bit of a scribe witness along the whole side, and I'm checking my distance as I go. I'm looking pretty good. I think I'm about where I need to be. I do it. That's around the, here. It's a ridiculous thing. I always try to get something on my hands. Okay, we got one down right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty good. I mean, we got a, oh, I don't know, Stephen. What do you think? Three, four, ten thousandths. Stephen's back in the hole. And he's getting her mounted up in place. Hopefully this will work one time. And if not, we'll just do it again. No big deal. Well, we ran into a bit of a problem. The motor's not going to work, so we just turned it into a fan boat. Right? We're good to go now. Need the V8. Oh, that stud went in already? All right, you ready? Ready. Give it a shot. I like it, man. It sounds so much better than yeah. it did. Yeah, it's better. Hey, Justin, make sure you straighten your legs and twist and bend with your back. A jerking, twisting motion is what you're after. Okay. I'm uh, probably going to have to put the camera down because it's going to be a two-handed deal. All right, guys, we're going to set this in place, and uh, we need both of us to do it, so we're gonna, we'll be back to you in a second. Stephen Cox style. Got everything in back together. Steven did a real good job, and uh, we're rocking and rolling, filling her up, and back to the lake. Now, I don't know if we're going back right now, 
we're going back in the morning, so we'll see. Uh, it was really nice out there in the morning, so we may wait, but that's all up to Doug. Uh, we're gonna go, we're, we're here for the ride, so uh, who knows. Okay, so explain to me your process and what you're doing here. Uh, right now, uh, we take those boards in that pile. Okay. And then we take a measurement from that end to that end. Okay. And then we cut it on that uh, solid. Okay, fantastic. What's the next step? The next step, the next step is to uh, lay it up there and keep it up there. And then while holding it up, you take one of these screws, stainless steel screws, put it on the drill, and then you just Drill, drill into it right there. Cool. Into so explain to me what this is. So this is to find the frame strips, uh, little strips of wood that come down. Okay. Take this, you stick it in there. If you feel, you feel it stop and you need wood, that's the wood. Awesome. And then what do you do? Then we take the screws and go in here. Cool. Okay. I gotta give me one of these. All right. A, like a, a kid, a son like that. We should breed more of those. Yeah, like yes. we need more of these in the world. Right there, you. Good job, man. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan, my name's Justin. Okay. 12 years old. He's running that chop saw over yeah. there. That's incredible. Yeah, he just gave me the walkthrough on everything he's doing in here. Oh, man. Ethan, very nice to, very nice to meet you. Here we are. Boring old trips we're on all the time. Gonna launch boring? this. How are these boring? Just launch these old boats and just traveling around the country. Well, new. Meeting interesting people. Perfectly new. Perfectly, yeah, it is brand new, huh? They're in a newer boat on this lake right now. She has never run in the water. Well, she has. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I see something yellow. Oh, yeah. Of course I got it. I can I can back a boat. Oh shit. Yeah, that's good. I'm up here now. All right, stop. Here, you just jump straight across the boat. Can you do it? This man came prepared. Oh, that's why he put on his uh, tennis shoes. How did you get that moisture in the foot there? Why are we leaning so bad? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? That little motor is going to push that boat just fine. <laughs> He's not going to have to pull any impeller out of that jet right at all. Just the first 40 feet of it. Let's move it just ahead of it. Something's rattling. Yeah. Oh, I want to make it, it might be. Yeah, it might be the starter. It sounds like it. Toss me the rope, homie. That didn't sound good. So I'm like 40 feet off the ground uh, on the bow of SV Seeker. And uh, it's just incredible. Guys, we're heading back today. We're going to come back probably in a week or so and get the tender rocking and rolling. There she is down here, right in there. There's the tender. And um, we're going to get that bracket taken care of. Yeah, like it. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Throw your own comments down here if you've seen the SP Seeker project. Um, if you haven't, get over to his channel and check it out. And if you're not subscribed to Justin's channel, hit that subscribe button right there. And um, Get out and fix something. Yeah, my sign always get out and fix something. <laughs> and I are driving down the road and uh, yeah, we found, uh, we, we're trying to figure out what this is. Oh, you got back up a little bit. You can't oh, tell no. what it is from this side. It's the one of the shot. It's a big old diesel engine back there, guys. Probably, could be. It might just be some brakes that fell over. What do you think it is, Steven? It's like a Waukesha block. 7044 or 5792 block. Yeah, I think it's a double lot 203 with a uh, side manifold uh, converter valve uh, cam lobe uh, de isolator. That's dumb. Yeah. I don't think it is. I think it's one of the unique designs that. Uh, there's no such thing as a de isolator. There is a de isolator. There's two. There's actually two de isolators. One's on the cam side, one's on the universal mount housing side of the uh, incandescent transverse reactor. This guy, this guy considers himself to be a mechanic. 
Jesus. Hey man, I fixed the flux capacitor a couple of times. Steven, that's not real. It's from a movie. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows movies are real. Movies? I'm still waiting for Deadpool to come to my house. 